Hello everyone. In today's video, we're going to be showing you a simple way to correct your glide path. Now, I'm looking at my window right now, and I can see that I'm really high. I have the two white lights looking right at me. My airspeed is actually pretty darn close. Now, what a lot of people will try to do at this point is they'll let the nose of the plane drop. But you'll notice if I do that, my airspeed increases. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my nose up, get back to my correct speed, and I'm going to pull my throttle to idle. And all I'm going to do is use the pitch of the plane to maintain that speed of 60 knots. Again, my throttle is at idle right now. And all I'm doing is letting the plane keep the 60 knots. I've got my flaps down. I've got everything else in position. And I'm just maintaining my proper approach speed here. Uh, nothing special. I'm not increasing anything. I'm not letting my nose come up. not letting my nose come down. And I'm just maintaining my constant speed. Now, I'm looking out the window. And I'm noticing that runway is starting to get a lot closer. And the other thing I'm starting to notice about that runway is we're now perfectly on glide path. So I'm going to go ahead and push my throttle forward just a little bit. Go ahead and kind of cancel out that effect while maintaining my approach speed. There's the burble right there. Go and bring myself over the end of the runway. Go ahead and pull myself all the way to idle here. Kind of come ripping over the big old numbers here. Again, keeping my speed more or less constant the whole way down. And all we're going to do is line ourselves up with a flat classic center line. And we're just going to settle down nice and easy just like that. Now, what you probably observed is the fact that our aircraft there, uh, what I was doing is keeping my pitch to hold the speed and then using my throttle to control my rate of descent. Sounds a lot like flight school, doesn't it? Now, the interesting thing there is that works completely fine in reverse as well as the way we just demonstrated it right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build my speed back up here real quickly, and I will show you the opposite problem just to show you how easy this effect is and how effective and simple it is to keep your speed under control during those kinds of approaches. Just got to build myself up a little bit of speed. Let's go ahead and use my good old fashion slow. Let's get nice and low. Ho oh, ho, that's a problem. So I'm looking at my window. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to pitch from my approach speed of 60, apply full throttle, and now I'm just going to use my nose to basically maintain my 60 knots. Got to give it a moment. So I'm peeking over the nose every once in a while. And taking a quick look. There we go. Again, I'm just monitoring my nose here. Just keeping the throttle in. There we go, 60 knots. So I'm going to go ahead and pull my throttle back to the normal approach speed. We actually saw we overdid it there. And now I'm going to see I'm a little high again. I'm just going to pull my throttle back again, leaving my um, speed right at my 60 knots, my approach. As I start to see the runway start to uh, kind of pitch up, I'm just going to come right back on the throttle just like that. And again, maintaining the pitch to control the speed and using my throttle as kind of an up and down lever. So again, looking out my window, I can see that big old two zero is starting to get bigger in the distance. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Looking all set. So one of the things we can do here is cheat. We can actually pull the throttle back and it'll come all the way in. Uh, the flight simulator version of the 172 is just so darn forgiving. And we just go play keep away with the ground for a second here. And nose is going to be held in this attitude. And a little bit of left foot. And we're down. Delightful. And you can see it's as easy as that. Now, what about when you're on an instrument approach? You'll find that the procedure is actually more or less identical. So what we have here is uh, we're looking at Bradley's 2-4 right off our nose there. You can see the little rabbit uh, running towards the end. And I'm noticing uh, my localizer position is more or less perfect. Um, I can see that my glide slope, I'm very high. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, have my autopilot help me out a little bit here. I'm going to go ahead and engage it real fast. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and activate nav mode. And what nav mode is going to do is it's going to fly the localizer for me while I fiddle with our friend the nose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the nose up a little bit here. I'm going to kind of get this up nice and high. There we go. And actually, what I can do is I can adjust the vertical speed. Uh, one of the kind of neat things here, I can actually go, uh, let's see, it's got a pretty hefty vertical speed here. So I'll bring my vertical speed down about 200 feet per minute just to kind of bring my nose down like that. And I'm just going to pull my throttle all the way back to zero. I'm going to go ahead and I'll get one click of flaps in here to help us slow us down just a little bit. There we go. You can see we're looking pretty good. You can see that nose is coming up real fast. Go ahead and get my vertical speed. We're going to come down to 500 feet per minute. And all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to allow this plane. Now we can actually disengage vertical speed mode, which I think is actually, unfortunately, we don't have a separate button for that, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do now is now that everything's all set up and kind of my autopilot's kind of helping me out, so I'm actually going to disengage. And I'm going to show you what happens when we go ahead and pull the throttle back and while leaving our flaps down and go ahead and just concentrate on the localizer for a moment here. So what you're going to see in a few moments is you're going to watch my glide path, which is going to be that horizontal line right there, slowly make its way upwards. And uh, you'll see this uh, kind of go real quick. Whoop, got to let the nose come down a little bit. Starting to get a little slow there. Going to have to correct my localizer. I'm drifting, which is, um, it happens. See how it's starting to wake up? 
And again, I'm keeping my same speed on the way down, keeping my consistent. I can see the glide path is uh, definitely starting to rise very rapidly there. And again, I'm just using my nose in order to keep it where it needs to go. Now I'm noticing my glide path is catching up. I'm gonna go ahead and engage about half throttle here. And all I'm gonna do is concentrate on maintaining 60 knots. And the thing you'll observe here is as soon as I engage the throttle, and I've corrected my nose a little bit for that uh, speed change suddenly, that our aircraft was suddenly right on the glide path. We're actually just a little bit high still. Or a little bit, yes, a little high. So I'm just again going to play with it. I see it getting a little slow. and let my nose come down. Looking pretty good on glide path there. Um, it just needs to let pull back the throttle just a little bit to lose that last couple bit of feet there. So I pull the throttle back, keep the pitch the same, go ahead and push the throttle forward. And again, I'm keeping the nose at about the same position here. And you can see there, just like that, the uh, glide path has been kind of captured and arrested, and my speed stayed more or less at where it needed to stay during the entire length of the approach. Of course, as we're looking at our window here, you can see that our big old airport's getting a little bit closer there. Starting to drift, just add a little bit of power. Uh, the turbulence is uh, something ferocious here, which is pretty unusual <laughs> for, for a... A day like this, but that's okay, that happens. All right, we're looking out the window now. Oh, we can switch to a visual approach, and you can see just how little work I had to use on the elevator in order to safely get our airplane uh, down to the ground here. So it's looking pretty solid. We're gonna switch to a landing situation here. I'm gonna go pull my throttle back. We're gonna ignore the fact the glide path is gonna go flying over the end there. Big old number two, four, a big mistake here would be landing at this part of the runway. And the reason for that, of course, would be the fact that we have to taxi all the way down to the actual airport. And you can see we settled down there right around the 500 foot point, which is very successful. So as you can see, using your pitch to control your airspeed and then using your power to basically manipulate your vertical speed is a very simple and effective way to get yourself a much, much easier, more stabilized landing. Enjoy.